What is your favorite So Bad It's Good movie? I don't know why, but I really like Good Burger. Good Burger isn't so bad it's good. Good Burger is just good. It's really funny. It's weird though. But I love it. Iron Sky. Invading Nazis from the moon. Iron Sky the coming race was equally as bad good. The Cat in the Hat. I understand the hate but it cracks me up. I'll get you. And I'll make it look like a bloody accident. You're not just wrong, you're stupid. The Spy Kids movies. The core greater than Serge Levesque, excuse me Dr. Brazelton, when do you think the ship will be operational? Greater than Dr. Ed Braz Brazelton, when I get my fabrication methods perfected, 12. 10 years. 10 years. Greater than General Thomas Purcell, what would it take to get it done in 3 months? Greater than Dr. Ed Braz Brazelton, 50 billion dollars, I. Greater than laughing, greater than General Thomas Purcell, deadpan, will you take a check? Greater than Dr. Josh Keys, you should use a credit card. You get miles. Greater than General Thomas Purcell, hum. I wrote a paper in college about science in the media and while doing research, I came across a study where they found that students in an earth science class that watched the core performed significantly worse on tests than the classes that did not watch it. The science is so bad in that movie that it actively made the audience stomach. Oh shit, I first saw this movie in Earth Sciences class. Face off for sure. The first five minutes of that movie is a work of art. Just the premise of having John Travolta and Nicolas Cage act like one another is the most brilliant thing ever done. When you put it that way, it sounds like the entire movie originated as a barbette. The running man with Arnold Schwarzenegger here is Sub-Zero. Now. Plane Zero. There is a 2005 movie starring the wrestler Bill Goldberg, called Santa's Slay. Goldberg plays Santa, a demon that lost a bet and was forced to give presents and toys for 1000 years. But the timer has run down and he's ready to spread some yuletide fear. That's an actual pun from the movie. It's as ridiculous and amazing as it sounds. Nacho Libre. Honestly one of my favorite movies of all time. I don't think I have bad or uncommon taste either. Nacho Libre makes me laugh, and tear up, and sing along to the fantastic soundtrack. I don't think there's any part of it that would be considered so bad it's good it's simply a good movie. Queen of the Damned. It is so bad that it is hilarious. Greater than in this loose sequel to Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles, 1994, the vampire Lestat becomes a rock star whose music wakes up the equally beautiful and monstrous queen of all vampires. Say no more I'm in. Great soundtrack for real, I love this movie. Judge Dredd, 1995. You betrayed the law. I never broke the law I am the law, greatest legal defense ever put to film. The Room. I've been to the live showings twice, and can say with confidence that Tommy Wiseau is an asshole. The Disaster Artist book sure made him look like one. The movie toned it down a bit. I'll add one, Jason X it's a terrible sequel that puts Jason in space but damn if I don't think it's funny as hell. Sleeping bag scene where he uses one to kill the other girl. I've had long debates about the quality of Napoleon Dynamite. It's a movie where you either just get it or you don't. And I don't. It's a weird mix of millennial self-deprecating awkward humor, and Gen Z outlandish humor. It was ahead of its time I think, the weirdness can turn people off of course, but in love it. I'd kiff that makes sense, but as a 31 year old, that's how I see it. The milk tasting scene is a good example of the depressing awkward highlight of his life with the weirdness of the situation in general and his reactions. Mortal Kombat. The sequel, Annihilation, is ever better slash worse. They got like two of the main cast back and it results in some of the worst acting you'll ever see. It's like they got rejects from crap daytime soap opera auditions on the way out and went hey, do you wanna be in a movie? It's hilarious. And the effects, oh my god the effects. There's points where it's the worst green screen ever, then an awful CGI monster thing, then there's even some good old Jason and the Argonauts claymation in there. 
when Baraka, guy wearing a terrible mask, falls to his death, it's actually Rain falling to his death from earlier. I could go on, it's just gloriously shit. It's like a fan-made sequel on a budget of $50 and some gum. I love it. Mother, you're alive. Too bad you, will die. Super Mario Bros. the movie. Edit, holy crap, that's a lot of notifications. My husband and I are an interracial couple and for Halloween we went as Mario and Bertha. Hashtag yeah hair now that's driving. Blades of Glory is gold medal worthy, but more like the chocolates covered in gold foil. The entire cast is wonderful but Amy Poehler and Will Arnett make such a great duo, I love their chemistry. Has anyone mentioned Velocipasta yet? Because y'all all need to go watch it immediately. The guy that made the movie showed up in a reddit thread about it and basically did an AMA HTTPS colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash funny slash comments slash eq1s9c slash the underscore velocipasta slash ridiculous movie. I love how he got funded. Some random lady that his girlfriend's mom knew just gave him $35,000. Then she ghosted him, after he tried multiple times to give her to movie. A great movie that doesn't take itself seriously and doesn't overstay its welcome. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Watching it as an adult makes it look so like embarrassingly bad but I still love it, smiley face, smiley face. Dead Alive. Peter Jackson. 1992. So bad, it's my favorite movie of all time. Nothing is more ridiculous than taking a lawnmower to a zombie party only to fight a giant zombie version of your mom. Don't forget the kung fu priest I kick ass for the lord. Killer clowns form out of space. It's rubbish but I love it. Jesus, what a classic. I'm gonna knock your block off. Upvote for you good sir. They used to play that on HBO three times a day in the 80s. That's how I learned to love it, Deep Blue Sea. That scene where Samuel L. Jackson gets bitten in half mid-motivational speech is simply genius. Pretty obvious clue that this movie is not to be taken seriously. And once you realize that, it's very enjoyable. That's literally the only part of that movie I can remember and boy is it glorious. All of the Twilight movies. I watch them all the time. I came here to say this. Could I go on for hours about every single flaw in the saga? Yes. Do I also watch and read it several times a year and love every minute? Also yes. Maximum Overdrive We Made You. We Made You. Stephen King's only foray into movie directing. Evidently he was so high on cocaine the entire time that he barely remembers making it. He later disowned the movie and swore off directing forever. Troll 2. Oh my god. They're eating her. Now they're gonna eat me. Dude where's my car? Dude. What does mine say? Sweet you can't watch this scene without laughing. Add to that and then. Neil Breen films. I can't believe you committed suicide. Says he in a disappointed librarian voice. Jupiter Ascending. It's like a 13 year old girl's deviant art fanfiction got made into a movie, and I adore it in all its absolutely batshit glory. She can command bees because bees can sense royalty. Also has this actual dialogue, only very slightly paraphrased, I don't want to have sex with you because I'm actually not a human but a human dog hybrid, no no that's cool I'm really into dogs, including presumably sexually. The dialogue is so goddamn bad I was cry laughing in the theater. Kung Pao Enter the Fist Edit, I didn't think so many people have seen it, I'm loving the references, it's bring back so many memories of when I would watch it with my cousin. The scene at the beginning with the baby falling down the hill forever, only to land in front of an elderly couple that pick it up, then huck it down the rest of the hill has got to be one of my favorite scenes in any movie ever. So cute. Bye bye. Rubber. Just the opening monologue is gold and it just gets better from there. The scene where the tire rolls up to the tire fire and the movie somehow makes you feel like the tire is filled with silent rage convinced me that the movie is brilliant.